So in isolation, in solitude, we're confronted with ourselves. We're confronted with our insecurities. We're confronted with our fears. We're confronted with our pain. We're confronted with how we've mistreated people. But we're, if we use solitude and isolation well, we're also confronted with our gifts. We're confronted with our promise. We're mm-hmm. confronted with our talents. We're confronted with our longings. And so the great spiritual masters, the 5M Club is a book about philosophy. It's a book about productivity. It's a book about transformation. But there is also some spirituality in that book. And if you look at the great spiritual masters, they spent a lot of time in solitude. And they also said, be in the world, but not of the world. And so Letitia and Ashley, I would say that's the game of the master. Not only the spiritual master, the productivity, the master, the the entrepreneur master, the creative master, to be in the world, but not of the world. And how can you do that? Well, it's spent a lot of time in solitude because that's the power of the 5 a.m. club. The rest of the world is asleep. You're alone. You're running the 2020 formula. You're running that victory hour. You're in solitude. But it's when you spend time alone that you get that you build intimacy with your biggest self. Mm -hmm. And it's only when you get to know your heroic self that you can go out in the world and present that that higher, better self to the world. 